when I went lights out, I had the red light on. And when I was looking in that mirror, I kid you not, it was like my face, my whole face. It wasn't like my eyes, like you say your eyes changed. No, my whole face was changing. It was like I was looking like a different person. Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost Urban Exploration. Now tonight we have a special guest. We have Nikki Rocks. Now, please check Nikki out. She has her channel. It's called Nikki Rocks. Yep. And a link will be in the description below. She drove up to see us tonight, which was awesome. Now, we were thinking, where are we going to take Nikki? And we're taking her to Poltergeist Trailer. She's never been, so we get to see her perspective on it. Now, thus far, what do you think? It's super creepy. The drive-in, like Joe said before, it's, it is literally in the woods it is the weirdest entrance to get here and when you pull up it's just like you can't really believe that anyone ever lived back here it's really like weird it, it's a crazy place yeah. and uh this is going to be awesome because we get to see nikki's first time coming here which is going to be awesome um if you guys like i would love to start this off with a yeah, prayer or does absolutely. that sound good so uh let's all pray and uh Dear Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everything in our lives. Uh, we ask uh, that you give us your protection tonight. And um, everybody who watches this video as well, as we embark on one of the scariest places we know. Um, it's through you, Christ, and all things are possible. Amen, guys. Amen. We're going to get this started. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. I'm going to walk in first make sure the coast is clear now we filmed this place so many times and I always say I'm never coming back to this place because we filmed it so many times but it's really awesome that we're gonna get a new perspective I love these types of videos where people get to experience this for the first time now a lot of people say this place has been cleansed and maybe so And it's always different when I come here. Look, this is now kicked in. And it's weird, we heard like stuff coming in. The spirits are alive tonight. So you smell that smell in here, right? It's like a, like a medicine-y kind of smell. Now, a couple things I wanted to point out to you. Down this hall is where I picked up a voice of a woman. And she was saying, like, why are you scared? Can't you see me? And then back here, we'll start back here. First, we'll make sure it's clear. Hey Rob, when you come in, can you shut that door for the um, for the noise reduction? Somebody, you know, it's weird because this is a little different already. Did you just hear some? Mm -hmm. Gotta listen real close in this place. See, somebody was just here, and they tore this place up. So your first impression is? I feel like a blanket of energy. Blanket of energy? Okay. Like so heavy, like not... I just feel a strong presence of something. Yeah, Does this place has got that. Yeah, it does. So, I'll take you to the part of the house that 
I think is the creepiest. Is that all new stuff? Like, I don't remember a lot of this stuff, man. It all looks All this stuff is moved like that bottle was not sitting there. Like this refrigerator was it's been moved. Yeah. What was that? Hey Nikki, are you talking? I was talking low in my camera. Okay. Uh, and maybe maybe it was Nikki, I thought it was like whoa. So like, Shut ourselves in this place. Something's not like it's stepped behind me over there, I swear to God. It's freaky. Like, I, I thought I heard stepping like 10 feet away from me. It's weird, right? It's so, back here, you, uh, you should feel something because back here. See, something just went like this as I was walking back here and went <sighs> Now, if you come in here, this is this is the room two things, I think Now, I'll shut shut us in, but yeah. this mirror here, and I'll let you he's here late, but that's where I'm talking but this mirror always seemed like a portal to me, so when I look at my eyes in this mirror, it's always, it always seems like my eyes look different to me looking back. How do you feel? I think I'm looking at myself. Okay, <laughs> yeah. alright. I mean, I don't, I need to, I think I just need to sit in here for a minute. And absorb, okay. Now Nikki brought some things with her, so we're going to try the Necrophonic app. But we're also going to use Nikki's phone to do that because a lot of people ask, well, maybe that yeah. Necrophonic app just knows my voice and records it, but I'm going to shut yeah, this. Yeah, and by the way, we haven't used the Necrophonic. Like, I literally just downloaded it in the car, so it's not like it's recording anything either. I haven't even turned it on. All right, so we're running off Nikki's light. Yeah, so. let's put the... Uh a red light on? Yeah, yeah, put the red light on. Let's see what it looks like in here. Okay. It's not very bright, but... Should we run the Necrophonic real quick? So it's here? you, yeah. We're, we're going to run Nikki's Necrophonic see, app. Nice. Now Rob's in the other room. Yeah, I'll put the... And I'll put it next to the red light. Okay. Hey Rob, you all right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so Bina, this is Nikki's first experience. I'll let you ask any questions you want to it. Uh, <clears throat> so my name is Nikki. This is my first time here. Hello. Um, you heard something? Hello. I think so. Any spirits, any deities, any creatures, if you want to come through the Necrophonic app and speak to us or touch us, you can talk into the camera, you can yell, yeah, whisper in our ears, whatever you need to do. Here. Okay, who's right here? Tom. Yeah. So follow her. Can you say our names? Whoa. But if you put both of these back. 
I bet it's gonna say that you're wrong. Dude, you I, you know, when I when I edit my videos, I always put my earbuds in. Me too. So, and even if I have to go back to those videos, sometimes like, I won't make sure I know what that word was. Like, and I'm thinking, mm. you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna go back and edit my video. Okay. Yeah. 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 Though is incredibly thick on the side. Not the feeling on that side is different. I definitely heard something move over here. Well, there are mice in this place, so like just as easily been a mouse, but Lights though. Out there. So wouldn't just see anybody sitting out there in the dark though. You picking anything up, Rob? It sounded like somebody was outside talking. But then again that could just be that could have just been your guys' voices kinda of coming out. Yeah. But I'm not sure. It doesn't close anymore. Well when we do our walk around. Mm -hmm. I'll leave my static cam in here okay. recording and I'll take this one with me and That's then we'll a great see if idea. it will pick up anything while we're just, you know, walking around the, the property. Do you have the connects with you or you want to try yeah. it? I don't know if it'll okay. work. Okay, I didn't bring the SLS with me because I couldn't get the system to start okay. running. So maybe the next time we'll do the SLS. I'll have to figure it out. I mean, I figured it out before, but for whatever reason the program wouldn't run. Okay. I'm gonna walk around anyway. I'm gonna check outside too. Okay. All right. Have fun. All right. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Now this I closed. I'm gonna go outside. You picking anything up, Rob? Close anymore. I'm gonna go check outside. You want to stay in here just to see if, if Mickey needs anything? Yeah, she's in there by herself. <clears throat> I always had this theory that there's. I always had this theory that there's a man and woman who actually died and they live in this place still, like their spirits are here and they think that we're the ghosts. I really do feel that. Like they're like, why are you in my house type thing.
anyway, um, Rob and I are doing a lot of traveling plans. Um, definitely check out our most recent videos from uh, North Carolina. It was so much fun. There's always frogs here. Things have always changed here. I've never seen this light before. Actually, I really came back because I need better buns, and I wanted to grab that, so that's the whole reason I came to Poltergeist Trailer tonight. Oh, check this out. There's two engine blocks. Never knew they were even in here. Torque wrench. That's from a really old vehicle. I can't believe I came in this thing. Look at these cobwebs, spiders above my head. God knows what's in here. So some people have a theory that this place was blessed and spirits moved on. I mean, the last few times we were here, it's been pretty quiet. But I still get the whispers and stuff in this place. So I don't know if that goes along with the theory that we're followed, or I'm not really sure. And I also want to point out that this bed frame has never been here before that I know of. What's really creepy is that's a swamp that you see and they say in every swamp in Florida there's alligators. What's that? I hear music. Where's that coming from? Oh, is that Nikki? Nikki? Yeah. So tell me. Anything? So, I don't, I don't know. I didn't hear anything with my ears. Uh-huh. But I put the camera um, in the closet mm -hmm. so that it will, you know, 
I know, Liz, from watching previous videos, I know that room tends to pick up a lot of whispers, and I mm -hmm. felt like the closet was a good spot for it. Okay, cool. You know, so it's running. Rob's in there in the other bedroom <clears throat> when I walked outside. So okay. I figured we could just walk around out here for a few minutes. All right. Cool. Yeah. I you can't believe fun? we've already been here for like 25 minutes. Uh, I know. <laughs> it goes I by know. so fast. So I'll take you back here. You want to look back here? And yeah. I got a big flashlight, so this could. Yeah, I don't need my, <clears throat> my little light anymore. Now that I'm with you. So there's a swamp back there. I've heard hisses and stuff. I wonder if like alligators are actually. You heard hisses I, out here? I, well, in the video, in your videos, your videos. They definitely people, heard like, this. I've heard like growls or hisses that sounded like an alligator or something else, you know, I don't know. I hear music, but it's probably coming from the road over there. Yeah, I heard it inside and at first I thought it was something, but then I realized what it was. How's it going in there, bro? I heard music. Was there something? It's over here, yeah. Yeah, there's music coming from somewhere back there. Definitely, like, I don't remember pillows being here. What thing is that? The freezer's gone. They used to be right here. Did they really? Who would yeah. want that? <laughs> Crazy. Like all this, all this pillow and stuff wasn't here either. It's the freaky place. All right, what we what we probably should do is, I'm gonna uh, take a, a few minute break. You want to do that, and then we'll go back through it. Yeah, it sounds good. So. <laughs> So we're, we're going to try to go to two places tonight, and I'm curious to see what we picked up on the Necrophonic app. I'm also really curious to go back through there and see what we capture now. Maybe we'll take turns going through. We'll go through the, together and then alone. Yeah. So we're going to take like a minute and probably go through alone and then together. Be right back. All right, so Rob's inside. Nikki's checking out the shed area, and we're taking turns going inside to see what we capture. Um, be real curious to see if we capture anything. I thought I heard some things. Definitely, like I said, there's always a heavy feeling here. Is this place haunted? I think it is. Is it as haunted? I don't know, because things seem to have settled down, and... A lot of people say, well, the place was, has, had been blessed, and, and rightly so, it may have. So, um, I'm worried about Rob in there, because sometimes Rob gets, you know, like, sick and stuff like that. He's been in there a couple of minutes. Don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go next, or Nikki's going to go next, and we're going to see what's inside there. Um, possibly do a second video tonight. But a couple things I wanted to share with you guys. So Rob and I are going to be traveling every single month. And i um, excited about that. Really super excited about the places that we're going to go. Of course there are restrictions now where we can go, where we can't go. But we're going to be traveling quite a bit. I think our next trip may be to Pennsylvania. And uh, hopefully that comes to fruition right after the holidays. Oh, whoa, there was a spider on my hat. Don't need a spider in my head. Here for a little bit. Each of us alone. I'm gonna shut my light off. I forgot a little bulb light. So I might just keep a little bit of light so you can at least see some stuff. Since I do not have a red light or anything on me right this moment. Whoa. Thought I saw something in front of me. Maybe it was just my eyes focusing on the screen here. Here to this room. 
I just kinda wanna go back to that room for some reason. See, immediately right here, nauseous. Almost like it's floating around here. Moving, shifting. It's getting worse now as I go back here, so maybe it's back here now. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Just got really freaking lightheaded. I'm having trouble focusing my eyes. I thought it was the screen, but now I'm not so sure. I hear something laughing, but that could be them. Maybe? No service. Okay. That's disconcerting. There we go. So that way, there's at least something. Entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure I thought I closed that door. You know what's weird though? Just like before, I almost think I see I, I see that moving. But again, it could just be an optical illusion. Like my eyes playing tricks on me, but it seems like that door is shaking around. Ears just popped. Holy crap. Oh. Okay, that's weird. So I can't hear talking, but I can't tell if that's the road noise. you could call it. I feel like just, I can't get steady. See now, I'm not as nauseous now. See, it's like, it's like flowing through this place. Something's moving around. Again, not near as negative as I remember before. Not near as like, all encompassing a dangerous feeling. Just, I feel like something's just screwing with us. Be my eyes. It could just be my eyes. 
could just be some weird issue with my focus right now because it's dark or whatever. My sensations are sort of like heightened. Oof. Now I feel better. Immediately better now. It's so weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. I think. I think we're good. All right, so Rob just concluded his alone time in there, and, and what did you experience, or did uh, you experience like, anything? <laughs> it was like, I don't know if it's just because like it was just dark or something, or I don't know, but like, I was very, very disoriented, and like it almost, it almost felt like I was on water, like it was floating around, like it was just really weird. It almost looked even like the mirror itself was like liquefied. Like I oh, couldn't, wow. I couldn't focus on it. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the dark, because I, ha I had my phone light on, so at least there was a little bit of light, it almost looked like the mirror just went crystal clear. And then there was a moment where I couldn't even see myself in there, and I didn't even notice that I was even in like the reflection. Oh, that's crazy. And then all of a sudden I realized I was in the reflection, so I don't know. Again, it could just be my, all in my head, but okay. I don't know. I could be losing it. All right, so... So Nikki's about to do walk through alone, and then we'll all go back and do one more time and wrap the video up, but... Um, I want to hear your experience when you come back, and good luck to you if you need us. Just yell. We'll come running in and get you. Alright, no problem. Alright, so yeah, Nikki's on the way in. <laughs> good luck. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so... A couple things happened. And I'm not even sure. At one point, I know I accidentally turned my camera off, but... So when I walked in, I went into this first room and again like as soon as I hit the doorway like the full body chills like inside not like your goosebumps on the outside of your skin but like your inside just changed like imagine chemical release or something like the feeling like a strange feeling in my, my entire body and then the heaviness and when I sat down I was like feeling ballsy I'm like okay you know I'll do I'll do the uh, lights out challenge and I swear to God, with the lights out, you know when you can see darker than dark? Mm -hmm. It was like darker than dark shadow like walked right in front of me. I was sitting down in the chair like facing the bathroom and it was like darker than dark past and I was like, nope. And I turned on the light and I was like, okay, done. Not in this room and walked out and I was like, okay. And I don't know when, I don't know when my phone was, you know, had stopped recording or I don't know because I, I went I went back into the other room and it wasn't recording and I was like okay so I turned it back on and then like before but before I walked in that back room I heard noise coming from the back room and then when I went lights out I had the red light on and when I was looking in that mirror, I kid you not, it was like my face, my whole face. It wasn't like my eyes, like you say your eyes changed. No, my whole face was changing. It was like I was looking like a different person. And then all of a sudden, I swear it was like, it looked like, it felt and looked like somebody was peeking around the corner at me. And I freaked out. Like, I have to be honest, like, you know, maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me, but I'm sorry. Like, the feeling... You know, I'm not the kind of person to exaggerate things either. So, like, if I feel something or I see something, like, I believe myself. Like, I believe that I'm seeing that or I'm feeling that. And, like, I like I don't scare that easily. But I got really uncomfortable twice. <laughs> like, I was okay. like, oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't want to be in here by myself, you know. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I go back in there. But literally, like, um... Let me just, I'm going to stop this recording. Literally, like, <coughs> my whole face changed. I was turning into somebody else. I'm, I'm talking about, like, elongating, nose widening, and it was like, you know, I'm sitting on that chair. It's not like, it's not hard for you to see yourself in that mirror. Right. With, and I had the red light on. But I'm talking about dramatic changes, and then all of a sudden, like, again, a shadow blacker than black, like, you know like went like this around like the door like this and like that oh wow like from the bathroom right 
I don't know. Creepy though. All right. So, your turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, so Nikki had an experience with the mirror now. It's my turn to go through here by myself. Hey Nikki, can I borrow your red light? Yeah. I, I, I like the red light. Some people say, does it do anything? Not really. It just makes it creepier for me. <laughs> and uh, I want to go check this out. Man. So I feel bad I may not take Nikki back in here, Rob and I, because she seemed to have a really bad experience and alright. See how to operate this. There we go. I'm gonna try just the red light, guys. Come on and talk to me. You messed with my friend. You messed with Nikki. Well, now mess with me. this light and this door doesn't close all the way my eyes are like it's weird guys I, I can't explain it Whose eyes are looking at me? They're not mine. It doesn't seem like that. You evil son of a bitch. Oh, wow. I can't look in my own eyes. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. It's this mirror, guys. It's something about this mirror. I think this place has like something evil about it. You don't like me being in your house? I heard you. Let's sit down on the stool, guys, right here. Keep 
this red light. little is breathing see the mirror never it bothered me but not as much as it is tonight I feel very, very much like dizzy right now. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this place. I feel dizzy. Talk to me. Sit down for a second. I feel so sick right now. Joe? 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 He's not responding. <gasps> oh, see, I told you. Joe. What the hell? Joe, man. You good? Joe. Joe, man. Hey. No. Oh, no. You alright? I knew I heard something. 
What happened? What do you mean? I don't know what the fuck happened. We heard, we, I heard you're a few bangs. You've been in here for like a half an hour. Yeah. You good, man? What the fuck happened in here? I'm recording this right now because we just, me and Rob uh, were outside for like a half an hour and we found Joe uh, laying on the floor, passed out. Uh, he thinks he hit his head against something, but yep. I mean, knocked out. Uh, what happened? Uh, I don't think this was recording either. I don't even know. Can we go, guys? I yeah, can... no, definitely. I'm sorry, I'm not going to record anymore. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I don't... What do you think happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I was in here well, the right. I felt what sick. What do you remember? I remember being sick, feeling like I'm going to throw up. And next day I know you guys are in here, so... We've been literally outside for like a half an hour. It's are been... You, are you back in it's, it's, it's 11.18 right now. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go and have get some water. Go ahead. I'll be right why we heard loud bangs. I was like, I'm like, maybe he's clanking something around or, and then I and then I sat here for a few minutes and thought more about it. And it's like, you know, I know you have passed out before. Is my face all red? I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah, it seems all red. I'm gonna get, I gotta, let's, can we get coffee on the way home? And then I gotta go home, take a shower. Did I give you the keys? No. 